a man of great composure who's an even greater composer, Mr. Gordon Hamilton. <laughs> The concept behind the show, when we initially were asked to do it, one of the big challenges was the fact that we were creating original music for a specific purpose. The first step in that was me recording a whole bunch of sounds, like an entire catalogue of noises and weird stuff that I could give to Gordon to repurpose for orchestra. Very weird. <laughs> You get it? And so for me as a composer, this was incredibly exciting to be offered the chance to work with this instrument that just is kind of unbounded. Are you ready? Another one of the processes, we took original pieces that already existed. Uh, for example, a piece that I've got called Ratchet Face. At first, I felt it was too full. The, the texture was too full and I had to strip it back a little bit just so that there was a chance for the orchestra to do something meaningful. So there was a chance for the orchestra to flex and for Tom to flex. So there were certain things that are that I do in my solo show that I wanted to bring elements of to our kind of orchestral piece. Um, for example, a lot of stuff that you can emulate with turntables, like the slowing down or the speeding up of the record. So we actually scored this tune for the orchestra as though it were being sped up on vinyl and then slowed down. This has to be meticulously scored for all the instruments and I have to work out the pitches and and uh, what kind of rate of acceleration, which is all quite complicated, but actually very fun. And when I heard it in rehearsal, it was so funny and bizarre and new, and I thought, well, we've got to do more of this. One of the great things about this show is we've been able to spectacularly collide our two worlds together in this sort of blasphemous combination of sound, um, you know, because we come from very, very different backgrounds. Rewind selector! Thumbprints exists in two different versions. There is the 60 minute version, which feels like a show. And there is the 20 minute version, which can be inserted into a longer symphonic program. And this feels more like a concerto. And of these two versions, there's two different instrumentations. One for full orchestra and one for miniature orchestra, 16 players. So it's a really transportable show. We've taken it uh, to places like a Coconut Grove in the Philippines, that was with the Manila Symphony Orchestra, and also to festivals like the BBC Proms Australia. Uh, it's just the two of us, me and Tom's mouth, and we'd love to take thumbprints to more cities and more orchestras. important to us that this is not just a fluff piece, it's not just a gimmick. We wanted to create something that was our own piece of music. I really enjoyed this blend of audiences, young and old, from diverse ends of the musical spectrum. And everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves and it was very important for us to kind of break down that fourth wall and connect with the audience. Real mature, man, real mature. Real mature, man, real mature. Real mature, man, real mature. <laughs>
And this is something I've never experienced before. During the music, you have people screaming at you. This collaboration has been something that I think neither of us could have achieved at all on our own. We needed the other to kind of guide our thought processes, and in that sense, it's a real collaboration. The best thing to come out of Annaly since Ipswich Road, Mr. Tom Thumb. Yeah! The undisputed beatbox champion of Annaly and the Belimba Creek catchment region.